welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro here on YouTube. My name's Tom and it's my pleasure to bring you a fun piano tutorial today and this one a lot of you have been asking for this. Uh, this has been a little while coming and uh, it's uh, been busy here but we've uh, got around to recording this now and so great pleasure to announce this is part one of Joplin's Pineapple Rag. Well, slightly over the top perhaps, but I know a lot of you have been asking for this, so it's my pleasure to bring it to you today. Now, as with all these uh, tutorials, I, I don't like to cram them all into one massive video. I like to break them up. So I think Pineapple Rag will probably go over probably three, maybe four um, recordings, but this is part one. So if you never learned the Pineapple Rag and you're visiting here today, welcome. We're gonna break it down and spend the next 20 minutes or so together in each other's company with a little uh, music lesson. Now, what I've also uh, been able to do is obtain a really nice version of Pineapple Rag um, and uh, annotated it. So if you'd like to get an annotated version of the score with all my teaching notes on, please do visit patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro where you can sign up and support these kind of tuition videos. And it's my one of my mission in life is to spread as much musical enjoyment and learning as I can and uh, I'd like you to help join me and help me do that. So visit patreon.com and if you sign up for silver tier or above you get access to all bonus PDFs and there's also lots of exclusive videos and lots of other things as well. So, Pineapple Rack. Um, what's it about? Well, it's got all of the typical Joplin hallmarks, lots of rhythms that we've seen in his other rags, but uh, let's take a look first of all with music on the screen and here we go with the introduction. <laughs> What a fantastic opening. Now, what's nice about that intro is that it is played in unison. And what that means is, is that the two hands are playing the same notes. Okay, so we've got a G on the right hand, G on the left hand. Let's just focus on uh, the, um, uh, the right hand. And the first rhythm is this, what I call a split rhythm. It's a quaver, semi-quaver, quaver, semi-quaver. So it's two quavers split apart um, and they put the semiquavers either side of this central quaver. I quite like um, the uh, the use of rhythmic words. So follow the, follow the. Okay, that works really well. Da da da. Okay, or maybe um, uh, you could do something like banana. You know, banana. Follow the. So it's nice and long that middle note. And that's all over the first beat. So panel rags in B flat. So we've got uh, B flat and E flat notes to watch out for. And it's two four. So it's one and two and one. Think of it in ones and twos, uh, a steady march tempo. But that's the first rhythm, one and two and. And then we've got uh, one beat with four semiquavers. And that's a little chromatic look. Back to C and then over to B flat. Okay, so, I mean, you could almost, <laughs> you could almost do this. Follow the caterpillar, caterpillar. You know, it's daft, but it does work. Da, da, you can make your own words up. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's the first phrase. So you could go, make those first three of it a bit snippy, and then together smoothly. Da, 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 da. And notice that that tie look between the two F's, right? So that is a typical ragtime um, rhythm where we get coming to the end of a B, one E and a two. One E and a two. All right. So that's the first two bars. Da, 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 and hold, right? Now the same rhythm again. Look, follow the. I don't know what should we do this time. Let's do something silly. Um, strawberry, ba, ba, hold. So it's one and two and. Now that, if you look at the next uh, line down, you'll notice then we've got a double thick bar line with repeat marks. So this is the start of the piece proper now. But that's the introduction, okay? Once again. Notice I'm using my thumbs and my thirds. And then your hands are going to go away from each other. 
for the next passage. Okay, so that's the intro. Spend a little time working on that. Count yourself in before you start. One and two and. I quite like to make those C's nice and staccato at the top. Etc. Okay, so that's your introduction. So there we go. Right now, the next uh, part is the is the we'll call this the A section, bar five, and um, we only really need to learn here uh, about two lines of this because we're then going to have a big repeat. Okay. But first of all, let's take a look at the left hand. Now, I've wrote, written in on my annotated uh, lesson score, which again, you can get that by visiting patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro, sign up and uh, you'll be able to get access to all these bonus extra goodies and videos. Um, you can see that it's a, a typical umpar rhythm, but unlike a lot of Joplin stuff, he doesn't use a lot of octave work in the opening. I mean, there's a little bit of octave work, but it's a lot of single, whereas the others, about octaves, you see. Um, maple leaf, that is. By the way, if you want to learn maple leaf right, there's a great four-part tutorial series right here on Keyboard Skills Pro. So take a look at the uh, piano lessons playlist. But here's B flat. Look right down the bottom here. Not not middle C B flat. Next one down, and this is the B flat chord. It's F B flat D. You need to memorise that. That's your B flat chord for this part of the song. So B flat, B flat chord, and then we partner up the F beneath it, and that partners with the B flat, you see? That creates a thing called alternating bass, or alternate bass. It's basically the fifth of the B flat scale. It's a fourth down here, same distance, look. But that's what you hear in a marching band, and of course, this is really what ragtime is. They're kind of swingy marches. So, one and two. Notice, look, as I come through the air, we're forming the um, we're forming the chord of B flat major. This is a second inversion B flat chord, and I say you've got to literally make that shape as you land. See, one and two. Next bar, yep, da 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 da, and then get your hand in here, and you're going to do a broken. B flat dominant seven. Now dominant sevens are used because they're strong sounding, they push the music on. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's four notes there. One and two and. It's really just B flat with the major seventh flattened. Okay, so it's one and two and. Okay, so that's your first thing. You can do a tiny bit of pedal here and there. I quite like it without pedal. Bits of pedals just here and there. So slow that down for you. B flat, little finger, B flat chord, alternate F. So really just look at the bass notes because these chords are all the same. So you have to be able to, they're like little rainbow jumps, look. Little rainbow jumps over the top. I'm not going side to side. I'm little sort of hops in the air so I can see, almost look down. Eventually, you should be able to do it at that speed. If you do it at that speed, you better you to play ragtime because it's uh, it's uh, not as fast as that. But one and two and da 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 ya da 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 in da 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 da. Now here on the next line, look, we've got uh, we've got uh, some nice E flat chords. We've got a G. Now here's the first octave. Look. I would put the pedal down on this G and then come off there. That's quite nice. Now this is an E flat chord, E flat major. That's the fourth of B flat. Okay, again, and look at inversion. That's the um, first inversion. Then we go to G flat, and that flat there becomes the flat at the bottom of the chord. It's all flat, so that's E flat minor. We've lowered the third. And that makes just a nice easy jump look. One and two. But those bass notes look are actually crotchets. So we could just use the pedal very lightly. And that'll all sound quite nice on the other hand. Going down chromatically, look to F. Here's our B flat chord gang. Right, now we got now we got some, we haven't had this yet, some actual stomping bass notes as I call them. 
D, D flat. Look, look, that little, little step down, look, going through the half step. C, and we're gonna get up to an F chord. This is again a first inversion F chord. Bigger, bigger jump now, look. And then C, C7, which is that, B flat, uh, C, and E natural, okay? And then down to F, and then a backwards broken F chord. One, two, three, and. Okay? So that's your first two lines of the piece. Now, now the next part does repeat quite accurately the same. So don't worry too much uh, that you're only stuck on the first two lines, because you are going to be learning most of this first part just by these two lines. Okay, so that's the left hand again then. One, and, two, and. Broken chord. So that F look, da da da, and then we're going to go back into the reprise. So that's that's again like we always say with ragtime, and a lot of these pieces um, split the hands apart, work on this left hand, get it really good, really so you can just bounce around because then. just to hopefully not play a wrong note like I just did um, and uh, you know waltz around that quite nicely so spend the time get that left hand really working now although we're not playing octaves there there is still a nice jump look some good good jumps as that nice kind of striding as as stride piano became That dissimilar, it's just sometimes a bit quicker, a bit snazzier, but it has its roots firmly grounded in ragtime style. So that portion of this tutorial, folks, focuses on the left hand. So if you want to go back and repeat that, please do. Now, right hand has lots of Joplin traits. We've got the follow the, follow the, follow the, and look at the beginning, look. We now have it from the intro. It's the introduction, haha, <laughs> the, the intro comes from the main theme. So, one, there's a chord at the beginning. Look, a nice, nice chord, B flat, D, G. We're above middle C. There's the B flat, there's the D, there's the top G. So we're just gonna go one and two, and. One and a, uh, duh. I mean, if you would properly count it, you go one, E, and, a. Uh. One E and I, I just use silly, silly, uh, well, they're not silly because they were proper uh, word rhythms, okay? Follow the caterpillar. Now, notice at the end there, look, there's a C natural. And then B flat, you use your thumb this time. B flat, C, D, F. And there's that, that's actually the introduction, isn't it? One and two and one and da, 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 da. And then over. Over the top to B flat, and then other side of that are the notes of the B flat chord F and D. Finish like that. One, da 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 da. da. Hold and punch. One E and a uh, two E and a uh, one E and a uh, two E and a. Uh. Okay. Just like all ragtime music, everything lines up with its partner. So make sure you follow. That music carefully. Get a get a line. A pen, I sometimes draw pencil lines in between right hand notes, so then you can see where the chord comes back in. Because it's this, it's this playing off the beat on the right hand against the straightness on the beat of the left hand, that creates this rhythmic effect we call syncopation. So that's the first two bars. One and two and da 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 dum jump up. So I let go of that. I can jump. You see. Change. I've actually changed my thumb there, look. Change. Then it repeats. And then it lands on a B flat chord. Now, this next rhythm is dum, 
da 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 and all it is it's just splitting the B flat chord into two parts so we've got the first chord which is a B flat chord in root position root means the lowest note is B flat and then what then happens is you're going to go one E and a, two E and a. okay and you notice what we're doing look we're, we're rocking between me like this use your one three five one two four but it's the outer notes alternating with the middle note okay boom ba da 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 okay okay so you could go blue berry strawberry you know fruit stuff if you, the, by the way if you go on the net and type in um music rhythm patterns or you know fruit rhythms there's there's loads of these things they, there's some with dinosaurs there's fruit there's cake there's loads of these things they even did one for the uh, the covid 19 lockdown thing which was quite funny so dum da 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 so it's one and a two and a okay now let's now just start to put that together with both hands okay so one and two and so I've got to get to this F first before I get to the chord. One E and a. One E and a. Hold that as you play the bass note, B flat with the chord. There you go, look. All right. Next bit. Now get this. Look, see I've gone in there. Look. One. Now each of these pairs goes with one of the bass notes. So that one goes with that one. Him and him, him and him, him. Lift this, break this up, keep that smooth. Okay, and again. Okay, doesn't that sound fantastic? Very, very nice. Okay, so that first line you can work on, and again, we've put some notes in there to help you out. Okay, so again there, look, we've got that follow the rhythm. Follow, da, 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 da. But it's, it's always that top pair, look, B flat, E flat, it's just basically an octave with an E in the middle, E flat, one E and a, two E and a. Okay. Da 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 So as you come down there, da 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 So you're gonna finish off one E and uh and then quickly get into this B flat chord. Okay, da I'll probably get your third there. And then look again, look here we go, look A F C look that's that follow da da Da, da. Right, okay, so that's how that bit works. And then one, one E and a two E and a little B flat scale. And then we're into it. Okay, so that, that rhythm needs a bit of practice, but then when you put this with it, again, do it slowly. So again, I'm getting to there before the chord, look, because this is shorter, and it means this comes in before the second half of beat of one. One, E, and, uh, two, and then together, look. Those go together, okay? Da, 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 there's the F. And then we come in, look, get down here, got jump, once you've done that B flat chord, get down to that B, that D down there. Look, hold this B flat down. And sort of just sort of walk up. And open up your hand. And then we're gonna go, these are F chords. Big jump, look, so F. Again, it's that follow. Chord 
comes after the full low. One E and a C7. Get there. F. Then you go da 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 da. Broken F chord. So. Okay, so here we go then. <laughs> Put an extra note in. Here we go again. There we go. So that is the first two lines. Okay, then it literally just repeats. Okay, page two. Now, I said it repeats, okay? It, it obviously doesn't repeat at the end. So this is the first time bar, okay? So we're gonna go da 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 And then all we do is we go back to the F, play that chord again, and then just go da 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 Okay, so. We need to get into an ending, you see. Da, 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 da. And here's the first time ending. So we've got G's, G flats, F's. So look, that chromatic half step going down. And the right hand is going B flat with E natural, also going down to E flat. So you go down to the flats together. Look, one and. Open up to this F7 chord, and look, there's that rhythm again. Follow the, okay, so follow, follow the, do, 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 and then an F7 chord, and that's the end. Okay, so that's the end. You then repeat all the way through once again. time. So that's coming down, look. Arpeggio B flat, look there, second page. Da 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 And then into these chords, down, F7, 1, and a 2E, and. Now the second time box is very similar to that, but it just finishes with a B flat chord. second bit, but we'll do that in the next lesson. So we've covered quite a lot in that first lesson. We've learned the introduction. We've learned about how important the left hand is in ragtime. Very important to have that really strong. And these rhythms, the ragtime rhythms, follow the caterpillar, da, 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 da. You know, they're all silly rhythms, but they do help. So go online and find yourself one of these rhythm pattern sheets, there's, there's fruit ones, there's cake ones, there's dinosaur ones, there. there's loads there. Um, but I do give those a try. Anyway, folks, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, thanks for your company. Do subscribe uh, to the channel, hit the notification button. Please share the video around on uh, Facebook and various other places. And if you'd like to put any positive comments below, please do so, it'd be lovely to hear from you. Uh, if you enjoy ragtime, uh, there's also a fantastic rag inside one of my piano books, Pianistic Book One. It's called The Chromatic Rag, and that will be a nice uh, addition to your music collection. You can get that by visiting tomhorton.co.uk. We can post the books all around the world, or you can buy it on sheetmusicplus.com. If you enjoyed this lesson, once again, if you would like to support the production schedule um, and the creation of these kind of videos, please visit patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro where you can get access to this annotated score for pineapple rag um, which uh, complements this lesson take care guys all the best